Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be showing you all another pinup style using some two strand twists and flat twists that will leave you feeling stress free for the work week. With this hairstyle, you won't have to do anything to your hair in the morning, but take the bonnet down and add a little shine spray if you would like. As you all can see, I am starting off with freshly washed and conditioned hair. First thing that I like to do whenever I do these styles is section my hair off. So I am going to have two sections in the front, but as you all can see, one section is going to be slightly larger than the other because I'm going for kind of like a side bang that you all saw in the thumbnail. To make this process go by a little quicker, I am going to go ahead and moisturize my entire head using this cream by The Do, okay? This is like one of my favorite moisturizers right now. So I am just going in with this moisturizer all over my head. I know I went ahead and showed you all the mousse, but we're only gonna use the mousse as we begin styling. But at this point, you want to go ahead and get that cream inside of your hair and get your hair detangled to make this go by a little bit quicker. And if you need a little bit of water to add slip, just go ahead and do that. I do want to point out that although these sections look large, I do break my sections down into smaller sections and I will finger detangle before going in with a detangling brush. we got all of that out the way let's go ahead and start sectioning off our hair for a twist with these twists we are going for medium okay if you all see my ipad in the background i was just watching a little bit of housewives <laughs> while i was twisting my hair this is kind of like what helps me not to dread doing my hair now i'm going in with some mousse but yes it makes me like feel like i'm still getting some relaxation time while i'm doing my hair because i'm actually watching some of my favorite tv shows or movies but ensure that you twist tightly because we will be pinning up these twists and we don't want them to unravel and make sure you give those ends a little great curl and you will be fine okay these do not have to be super perfect because most of the parts will not be like shown throughout the hairstyle only the perimeter I believe but it's okay don't worry don't stress just make sure that the twists look neat if you struggle with the parting it's okay okay no one is really going to notice also want to go ahead and add some twists to the larger section in the front because this is going to kind of create that little bang action of twists. And now that we have those two strand twists out of the way, I am now creating diagonal parts in this other section and I am actually going to create three flat twists. I'm also gonna go ahead and add some mousse to those sections because I want the twists to look as neat and crisp as possible. And when I'm doing these flat twists, I am picking, picking up very, very small pieces as I go and making sure that I twist tightly. 
One thing that I know about flat twists is that they will loosen up over time. So the tighter that you can do it on day one, the most long lasting it will look and it will give it that fresh crisp look throughout the week. And just like your two strand twist, if you notice that the ends of the hair seem to be getting tangled, you do want to take your detangling brush or a comb and just make sure that you get through those tangles. Because it was kind of late on the Sunday night, I decided to get my handheld blow dryer to actually speed up this drying process. I am no longer a fan of going to bed with my hair wet because I don't know, I just got used to drying my hair and making sure that I retain the length by drying my hair immediately. So I went through with the dryer to get it about, I would say about 75% dry. And then I just added my scarf on top and a bonnet and I went to bed. And it is the next day, so I'm just gonna remove my head scarf and bonnet. And now we are going to pin this hair up. I promise this is not complicated. This will probably be one of the easiest pin up styles that you can ever do, okay? So you just want to fluff out the twist and then you kind of want to remove, not necessarily remove, but you want to put those three flat twists to the side. You're going to gather up all of those single single two strand twist and you're going to put the hair in one ponytail. Once the hair is in a ponytail, you are basically going to fold those twists over to actually cover up the elastic. And you're just gonna add bobby pins to kind of create this very, very small bun. And it is okay if some of the pieces stick out. If you have like some hair strands that are not quite like folded over, you will be able to tuck them at the end. Now you're going to take those three flat twists and kind of bring them over into like a little crisscross action. And you're also going to pin those into the bun to give it the illusion that it is actually inside of that bun as well. And here is the final look. As always, I hope you all enjoyed the video and found it useful and I can't wait to see you in the next one. See ya!